Uh, I just want to say thanks to you guys and make sure that you guys come down to Vegas. Those of you guys who are coming, we appreciate you down there. They call it Gonzaga South for a reason. Okay, so let's show up. We're playing a little bit earlier than we normally do. So get there on Thursday and come out and, and cheer us on. Uh, real quick, I know that they have, Shelby looks like she has something written down for you guys. So this is going to be a treat. Um, but I just want to say thank you to this group of seniors. Um, they're an amazing crew. Um, I, I credit the rest of our team today because they came out and they wanted to play for these guys. And they're a great group of leaders. Yep. We wanted the non-seniors to make sure that they were the calming influence and from time to time they're not. They go a little bit faster than we like to and they play like juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. Uh, and I thought that they did a great job of getting us started today. Um, but really, Shelby and Georgia and Chelsea and Shaq and Ellie, uh, you guys are one of my favorite classes. You were one of my first recruiting classes that I really had a solid hand in. And I think that all three of you, five of you guys have left quite a legacy here. And um, it's going to last well beyond your years. Okay, So it's not just through the rest of this season, which we still have work to do. We're still trying to get better. Um, but it's, gonna, it's definitely made an impact on me and I know on your teammates as well when I heard them talking about you guys today. I'm going to stop, otherwise I'll start to cry. And I promised them I wouldn't do that today. So, uh, who's first? Georgia? Shelby? All right, here you go. Thank you, guys. Uh, where did I go? On my nose. Hey, guys. <laughs> Man, I thought I was going to get through one season without getting a black eye, but I had to get in this last game. But just wanted to start off saying thanks to my mama. If you don't know, she's the one with all the big heads up there of me. 106. <laughs> without her, I wouldn't know half the things I've done here at Gonzaga. She keeps me updated, gets all the articles out for the mamas here. But just want to say thank you to her. want to say thanks to all my family here. I have family up in section 106 over there in that section. Grandma, aunt, uncles, grandma, everyone there. Uh, so it's been really fun. Um, I want to say thank you to the coaches. Uh, I mean, I didn't expect to have two different coaches, but it's been awesome having Lisa step in and getting to have the different coaching staff. And thanks to Craig. He's really... Made me a good post player. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> Working on the shots and everything. Um, just want to say thanks to all the family that's come to everything, all the fans. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. But just want to give an extra shout out to my mama because she's come to every game and she's driven me to all my basketball practices and everything. So she's been my biggest supporter and I'm so thankful to have her. <laughs> so thanks again, everyone. Thanks to my teammates. I've loved playing with you guys and I love my little freshies and seeing you guys come in and everyone I've come in with. So it's been so much fun with you guys. Here we go, I need help. Okay, hi guys. Um, I know you guys didn't get to spend as much time with me as the rest of um, these seniors. Oh, sorry, sorry. I know, I know you guys didn't get to spend as much time with me as the rest of these seniors, but I just wanna thank all of you, each and every one of you for giving me and these guys the best experience of our lives. There's, there's a reason why Gonzaga is one of the best places in the country to play for women's basketball, and it's because of you guys. Um, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, just some thank yous. Um, I'll start by thanking the coaches. Thank you guys, well, first of all, for recruiting me. Um, thank you for believing in me, trusting me, and Stace, extra shout out for you for being the best guards coach ever, you rock. Um, to uh, my teammates, I'm not even gonna look because that would just get bad if I look. Um, I don't think you guys know how much time we really spend together. We're, we're together for hours every single day. You get to know these girls very, very well, and I love you all so, so much. You're like the best ever, and I won't forget you. You're awesome. 
Um, and finally, I want to thank my, my brother and my mama here from Australia. I'm sorry, my voice is broke. I'm like kind of sick. Um, <laughs> oh my God, sorry, man. <laughs> um, and my dad, he's back home. He's back home, but I'm sure, I'm sure he's watching. So dad, yeah, hi. Uh, <laughs> and, and finally, um, my American family, they've followed me since junior college, since um, I was a freshman at North Idaho Junior College. I'm sure some of you all heard of it. And thank you so much for never missing a game and just being the best. I actually can't see you, but I know you're somewhere up there. You guys are awesome. And finally, oh, so sorry, I just broke your Sammy from the block, like the best, best friend ever. You're the best. Okay, bye. Everybody rocks. Oh, wow. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all of you guys. You, you truly make this place very special. And it's awesome to come to the kennel. Um, I want to highlight my family. Uh, they do so much for me. My parents come to every single home game. Haven't missed one. Uh, I want to thank my grandparents and my grandma for believing in me and um, my grandpa. Um, even though he's not with us, I know he's looking over me. And I want to thank my brothers for like just beating up on me because I wouldn't be as strong as I am today without them. <laughs> and obviously the coaching staff, you guys are amazing. I've had every single one of you as a coach because I've played every single position. So I just want to say thank you to you guys. And then to my team, I can't look at them, but they're, they're truly my sisters and I just love them so much. We spent so much time together and we have so many memories on and off the court and it's just, Amazing to, to come in here and play in front of them with you. You guys really make it special. And um, I also want to highlight Shannon Reader. Um, she does she does so much for us. You guys don't understand. She makes us eligible, gets us to class, makes sure we're going to class, and makes sure that you know we're in the best situation we can be. But there's some love for you, Shannon. I love you. First, I want to I want to thank my mom and my dad. Hi, babe. <laughs> um, I obviously took a very different path <laughs> than most people do when they go to college, but um, I wouldn't have been able to finish out my career here without you guys. So, mom, thank you for putting Nabea into bed so I could do homework, and dad for picking her up when I have practice. You guys are the best. I also want to thank all of you guys for um, including me in this family. I'm obviously from Spokane, so I was a Zag fan. I came to the camps and Lisa had to keep me out of the concession stands because Jazzy and I would just go get candy all the time and that's what we were paying for instead of basketball camp. I just ate candy all day. So I've always wanted to go here, so um, I can't look at Lisa. Um, Lisa, thank you for <laughs> recruiting me and for um, staying in Coach Graves' ear and saying that I could be here. And for when I um, did find out that I was having Nevea, you never deserted me or judged me. You always had my back. And <laughs> I don't know if... Um, Coach Lisa is like a sister or a mom or an aunt or a best friend or I don't know our relationship, but I know it's very special and I look up to her as a mentor. So I thank you. I thank you for letting me um, into your family. I adore your children. Craig and I still go at it a little bit, but I still got mad love for you. I hope you know that. Um, the rest of the coaches, it's only been two years, but you guys have taught me so much and um, I hope I can play overseas and whatnot, but I'm always going to remember the drills and all the lessons you guys taught me. Oh! Oh, God. Um, and finally, I would, don't look, um, I would like to thank my teammates. Um, 
I'm just gonna go through the seniors real quick. Um, Shelby, I've known you for years, and I'm, I still remember when we went to Red Robin to sign, to, sign to come here. And we were so excited, and we've been on a journey with each other since like sixth or seventh grade, and I'm so proud of you. Everything you've accomplished, you've earned, and to see you transform from our freshman year, you're amazing, and you're gonna have such a great career ahead of you. Georgia, G Dog, you are the most awkward person I've ever met. <laughs> and yet, it's like you complete me. Like, I still remember commenting on your Instagram pic and asking you if you wanted to be buddies on the plane because I had nobody to sit by when Jasmine left. And after that, we just became best friends. And I'm so glad I've met you. And um, shout out to Julie Sturton. I don't know if she knows this or not, but I plan on moving into your house in Australia. So just be ready. <laughs> Love you, thanks. And Chels, <laughs> I've known Chelsea for years too, but she She's always been like my little sister and we go at it sometimes, but like it's all love and I'm so proud of you. And I know we've struggled because we play so many positions and with confidence and everything, but you're wonderful and don't ever forget it. <laughs> Ellie, Ellison, um, this year has been rough for Ellie and I obviously. I was injured at first and we were just really excited that I would be back by conference and we always talked about like how we're gonna finish strong together. And then I ended up subbing her out and that like broke my heart because you've worked so hard for everything that you've gained, all your success and accomplishments and I really wish we could have finished out together but just know I love you and you're still one of the best people I know and your family is amazing. I think <laughs> Jocelyn, Lisa, thanks for buying the Bay of Frozen tent. She sleeps in it like all the time. But to the rest of my teammates, like you guys are so special and I hope you just cherish this place because all of us seniors this past week have been trying to find like a loophole in the system to get another year of eligibility. <laughs> so just really enjoy each other and I'll miss you guys so much, and all of you, so thank you for a great career here. <laughs> Whew. Whew, that was fun, wasn't it? Can I get another round of applause for these guys for handling business tonight? I tell you what, I forget that I had knee surgery a month ago. I was getting way too excited on the bench. So Rachel, get the ice bag ready now because we're gonna be a little bit sore, I can tell you. Um, you know, obviously my senior year um, didn't exactly go how I envisioned. Um, would have much rather spent this night on the floor with these guys and um, you know, as we know, some things are out of our control and that's kind of what you sign up with this sport is, um, you know, the risk of injury and whatnot. And obviously, if you guys have been attending the games uh, over the last three years, you'll know I'm not exactly the most graceful. So for it to finally happen my senior year, that's not too bad for an injury. Um, but first, I just, just want to say thank you. Um, you know, obviously, I hope to return next year and, um, you know, be a part of this again. <laughs> Obviously, that's out of my control, too, and, um, you know, regardless if I'm able to or not, I just want to say thank you for an incredible last four years. Um, I can't even tell you how fortunate I feel to be able to come in here every game day, and, you know, the majority of the fans are beating me to the games. They're all lined up and ready to go, and as I'm walking in, it's, you know, so many of you just genuinely care about each and every one of us, and, um, you know, I can't tell you how much that means to me, and, you know, forming so many just personal relationships with the fans and you guys truly are incredible and a big part of what we do here and a big reason why we've been able to be so successful over the last couple years and you definitely don't get enough credit so really I'm so appreciative of each and every one of you and uh, you know I hope you saw tonight what we're capable of obviously there's been a lot of ups and downs this season but But you've remained supportive through it all and you know we couldn't ask for anything else and we 
just ask that you remain with us. Um, you know, we plan to use this momentum going into Vegas and, you know, hopefully the rest of the WCC saw what happened tonight and, you know, hopefully they're prepared because we're ready. And um, so I just want to say thank you and um, you've made my time here incredible. Feel very blessed. I want to say thank you to the coaches for giving me the opportunity, obviously, to come here, um, you know, make me the player I wanted to be and also help shape me into the person I am. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Don't want to leave you guys yet, so um, really hoping there's a next year coming. I want to say thank you to my teammates. Um, you know, obviously a big reason why I've been able to remain optimistic and hopeful this year is, you know, you guys. Um, it was definitely challenging. Like Shaq said, she went through it, but I wouldn't have wanted anybody else to, you know, step up, and she sure did, and, you know, she's, she's used to doing that. And just want to say thank you to my seniors for, you know, putting up with me the last four years. I know it's hard, Chels, and just the rest of you. Um, you guys are amazing, and, you know, obviously I wish you the best of luck next year if I'm not able to rejoin, and I know, you know, from here you're just going to continue on this legacy that we have going, so thank you to each and every one of you. I want to say thank you to my mom and sister who um, obviously came over here to watch me on the bench and support my team. Um, you know, they've been supporting me ever since I can remember, and you know, obviously super blessed to have the family I have, and uh, I want to say thank you to my sister. She just flew in from Australia like two days ago and surprised me, so. So thank you to you two. Obviously missing my dad and my brother who are a huge part of my support system, but they have to go beat the Cougars tomorrow from Washington State, so. We know that rivalry, so um, just want to say thank you again to all of you. Um, hopefully you continue to cheer us on next week and Megan turn on the music you got to cut me off <laughs> All right ladies and gentlemen let's hear one more time for your 2015 2016 Gonzaga women's basketball team good luck in Vegas